Welcome back to my channel and today we are honoring our great ancestor James Weldon Johnson. He was born June 17, 1871 in Jacksonville, Florida to Caribbean parents. He was a key figure in the Harlem Renaissance. Not only was he a lawyer and diplomat, he was also an executive secretary for the NAACP for 10 years. James was greatly influenced by his mother who shared her love of music and literature to her children. James enrolled at Atlanta University. He then graduated in 1894. He returned to Jacksonville and taught at Staten Elementary School for Black students. Once he became principal, he expanded the school to include high school education. While at Staten, he also began studying law and in 1898 became the first black man admitted to the Florida Bar. Through the course of his wide range career, he developed a unique philosophy on achieving equality for blacks and combating racism. Johnson believed black America, black Americans should produce great literature and art to demonstrate their equality to whites in terms of intellect and creativity. James clearly established his place within the Harlem Renaissance with written books like X Colored Man, God's Trombones, and the Book of American Negro Poetry. He also campaigned for the federal anti-lynching bill and spoke at the 1919 National Conference on Lynching. James is also best known for writing the Black National Anthem, Lift Every Voice and Sing. Sadly, James died in 1938 at the age of 67 in a car accident and as we look back on his life we should definitely give reverence and respect to James Weldon as he played an important role during the Harlem Renaissance and with that being said I hope you guys subscribe to my channel and like my video so we can dive deeper into our ancestors and their journey to greatness bye bye you guys